Grant Hackett's luxury apartment sells, Sydney and Melbourne's auction clearance rate defies gravity, and one auctioneer is so pleased with himself he takes a plunge in the pool. Weekend auctions haven't seen so much action in years. The first big Super Saturday of the year was almost, dare I say it, exuberant. Big crowds and healthy bidding saw Melbourne's clearance rate top 70% for the second week in a row. Bayside and inner east suburbs, the heart of the auction market, were remarkably strong. There, about 150 homes sold, each for more than $1 million. After two years in the doldrums, that's a standout effort. And this auctioneer's joy was standout too. When bidding stalled at the Brighton property, auctioneer Nick Johnson promised the large crowd he'd make a splash if things heated up again. After eight more bids, it eventually sold for more than half a million above reserve. And Johnson, much to everyone's delight, jumped. Not to be outdone was Australian pool legend Grant Hackett. Everyone wants a piece of the star's luxury pad, including, at one point, the champ himself. Two years ago, the swimmer and his wife Ali had an infamous falling out, which resulted in smashed doors and floors in the 57th floor apartment. For the past three weeks, bookies have been taking bets on its final sale price. But it's believed the now separated couple didn't fetch much more for the penthouse than the original purchase price. That wasn't the case for this rambling East Melbourne mansion. A crowd of 150 watched as the Powlett Street home, built in 1867, sold for more than $5 million. Sydney, despite the wild weather, also saw some notable sales. Eight properties went under the hammer for more than $2 million each. The sale of this Vaucluse home suggests pressures building at the once stagnant end of the prestige market, particularly from Chinese buyers. Six bidders battled over its sweeping views of the city, Opera House, Bridge and Harbour. One triumphed with a knockout bid above $5 million. At the other end of the scale was first home buyer Nigel Creighton. A builder by trade, he's been renting for 10 years. This weekend, he was the only bidder at auction and it gave him the advantage. Nigel snapped up this rundown two better in Lewisham, beating down the reserve price by nearly $30,000. Sydney's 76% clearance rate was even more impressive than Melbourne's. But with 200 of the city's 500 plus auction results not reported yet, it may well drop. Even so, buyers fuelled by low interest rates and confidence are proving they're a force.